everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am wearing my new blouse from Tammy. You can't see it because I have my, um, I have my poncho over it. But I, I've got on the paparazzi jewelry. Isn't the necklace pretty? And the little earrings that match. But I'm all dressed up because today is Issa's band concert at school. So I'm going to be going, uh, they had it this morning for the school. And then um, that's probably like a little practice session too. But then I'm going to be going tonight to the auditorium where all of the parents and the family members will be gathering to hear the little the band members play. It's the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, I believe. And this is his first year to be in band. And he is playing the instrument that I suggested that he asked to be given. And he got it. They have to request, I think, three different instruments, and they have their first selection, second, and third. And he selected the saxophone, which is my favorite instrument, and I was hoping that he would learn to play it. I just always love the sound of the saxophone in music, and especially in my type of music that I love so much, and that's just plain old rock and roll. So I'm real happy for him. Of course, he's just beginning. He's just learning you know, the basics right now, but um, I know he has, I heard him practicing the Star Spangled Banner the other day, so I'm hoping that they will play it tonight. That will warm my heart and soul. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm dressed up, I'm ready to go. I finally got this hair curled. It is so thick, y'all. I'm not complaining about it. I'm grateful and thankful for it because there have been times in my life when my thyroid was out of whack that I lost a lot of my hair and it would just be so thin but my doctor has me on two different dosages right now he has me taking the 137 Monday through Friday and then on Saturday and Sunday I take the 125 micrograms and it must be working perfectly I'm feeling great and my hair is thick and and my nails are thick so um, you know, I do attribute that to having my thyroid healthy and, and working perfectly. It is kind of a challenge, though, to to get to have to get these two um, name brand Synthroid medications refilled every three months. They're very expensive, and that's one reason that I was short on cash this month and wasn't able to buy food because I had to buy my my three month supply of Synthroid. But now I'm set, so I should be okay for the next few weeks. I am going over to the tire dealer again today. I went last week, and um, you know, I wanted to get the same tires that I had gotten before. I just need one for the right front tire. And it's going to be a used tire, and it's $60 um, cash. If I pay cash, there's no tax on it. So he had to order it for me, and it is in, so I'm going to go by there today and get my new tire because I'm really, you know, um, driving on a prayer right now I'm, it, because it not only is it slick, but it is also, it's also got a big gash in it. I can see the, the metal, you know, in the, in the side of the tire. I probably hit a curb. I mean, there are curbs everywhere. And at night, sometimes you can't see the curb, and it'll just be jutting out. And especially on, there's a road around the uh, Roosevelt Field Mall called Ring Road, and it just makes this ring around and around and around. And then when you're going around, it's got all these little circles that juts off, and they have these curbs sticking out. Nearly every time that I go around that way, sometimes if I'm on a different an avenue, um, over on Stewart Avenue, then I will take a shortcut through the mall to get on Old Country Road to head home or to go to Stop and Shop or to go to Walmart or wherever. And when I go through Ring Road, then I usually end up hitting a curb. <laughs> so I think that's why my right front tire has that, that hole in it, in the rubber. But I'm going to go over there and get my new tire, and then I'm going to go over and meet Jill at her house because I want to ride with them. There's really nowhere, once all the parents start coming in to a function at the school, that eliminates a lot of the parking places. So I told Jill, I said, I better come and ride with y'all. That way uh, she can let me out at the door. 
because I'm having so many problems. I'm having trouble with my hips right now. I can't walk more than about 100 feet. And I know even if I park far away from the school, it, it's right smack in the middle of a residential neighborhood. So that takes up a lot of spaces too because you can't you know, block somebody's driveway if you're parking on the side of the street. So I'm afraid that if I have to park far away, I won't be able to make it to, to the front entrance and to get into the school. So I think it'll be best if I go. I'm going to go early because I would like to spend a little bit of time with Ife. But by the time I get this video edited and uploaded, I'm not sure I'll even make it there early. <laughs> but that's okay. And then Jill called me. She said, Mom, do, she's making... Um, a pot roast tonight. She said, Mom, I need some potatoes and carrots. And I said, well, I have a plenty. So I'm going to take her some of the potatoes and carrots. And I said, well, do you need sweet potatoes? Because I have a lot of those too. Oh, and she might, she probably will take that squash, that acorn squash. I've never cooked a butternut squash or an acorn squash. I just know nothing about the, the squashes that, you know, have the hard outside. But she's always cooking them and making soups with them. And she'll even juice them, you know, and, and drink the juice. Uh, her favorite juice is carrot juice and beet juice. She has stopped uh, juicing with all the fruit. Um, she loves fruit and all these healthy foods. But, you know, even fruit can make your sugar go up. So now she's down to just the, mostly the green vegetables, the kale and spinach and celery and cucumbers and I think she put some lemons in her juicing uh, but I'm real proud of her for for not only the wonderful job that she does as a registered nurse but also the wonderful job that she does as a mother she's just an amazing loving nurturing and very good caregiver for her children and she just loves them so much and they love her just as much in return and I'm just real proud of her for becoming the beautiful young mother that she is. And, you know, she had to do a lot of her her own, her own education on her own. I was in Florida dealing with a lot of my problems when she moved to New Jersey and she put herself through CNA school and then she got a job at a nursing home working full time while she completed her LPN degree and then she got a job at a hospital Working, working as a licensed practical nurse. And then uh, she put herself through RN school and then she worked as a registered nurse while she put herself through college and got her degree in her bachelor's of science degree. So she's a, a strong woman and a hard worker and I'm real proud of her and I'm so proud of my grandchildren. They're, they're just the love of my life and y'all know that because I can't stop talking about them. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it makes me happy and I'm so, you know, Husani, we were talking about Jeremy the other day and how sad it is that he lost his life so young and was not able to, you know, complete his goals and um, all of the things that, you know, he was a brilliant young man. He had a very high IQ and he was in the gifted classes in school and just was going on his way to become very successful, but unfortunately he was killed in a, in a car crash in 1997, and this month will be the anniversary of his death, and I really don't even want to think about it or talk about it anymore. It's, it's been a very long time. You know, I prefer to focus on the good and the happy times that we had with Jeremy, and now that I see how Jill and Husani are raising my grandchildren, it is Jill and Husani's mission to have Ife and Issa uh, reach their full potential in life. And that, that just brings me joy to my heart. So thank you for watching me today. I just love having you here and I, I have really enjoyed reading all of your comments. So let me model for you. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. <laughs> I actually bought this poncho. Uh, it is a COVID, re COVID uh, relief poncho. I bought it whenever we got that thousand dollars, you know, for um, for COVID. I think I was living with yeah, I was living with Jill then, and um, I didn't have to pay rent, so I was able to use a little bit of that money to buy me some nice things. And it did come from Chico's, 
and uh, I've really enjoyed wearing it all these years. And I'm wearing the beautiful blouse from Tammy. <laughs> and it fits me like a glove, Tammy. It is just perfect. You picked out the perfect um, blouse for me. So thank you. And I think a little mauve poncho enhances it. What little bit you can see. Uh, since I am going to be among a lot of people tonight, I didn't want my arms. <laughs> I wanted my arms to be covered up. So y'all know how I am about my about my the picking that I do with the anyway. So thank you for being here. It's always so good to see you. Please give me a thumbs up. And y'all have been sharing because I have 45 new subscribers. And I want to thank you so much for sharing. It really means a lot to me. And it helps to increase the views on my channel because YouTube will suggest my videos to more people. So thank you so much for doing that. It's so good to see you today. And if you're new here, please subscribe. You will be loved and accepted here. And y'all just keep on coming back.